A new chapter for the LeClaire Fire Department starts tomorrow. LeClaire will have a full-time fire chief. This is a first for LeClaire. It's taken several years to get to this point. News 8's Josh Lamberty spoke with the incoming chief about his work as the city keeps growing. Ask any firefighter and they'll tell you seconds count. And this is engine two. This is our, our main first out engine. Just ask Shane Bleeker. Mm -hmm. He's counting seconds too. But it, it has been a, a juggle of, of back and forth and, and getting this ready to, to start here on, on Monday. Monday is this new fire chief's first day. It'll be neat to see what the future holds and how the department and city grows with it. So this is rescue three. And at just 25. <sighs> this is our truck one. He'll lead the department through that growth. Right now we're averaging between 450 and 500 calls a year, and that's increasing yearly. Volunteers are, are scarce across the board, doesn't matter where right now. I think it's a significant step. LeClaire City Administrator Dennis Bakkenstead says Shane is exactly what the city needs. Maybe that, that decades of experience isn't there. Uh, I believe he does have the ability to, to learn and grow. The community has grown uh, quite a bit you know, over the last few decades. Even across the street, there's 200 and some homes coming in over the next few years. So LeClaire native now needs backup. But right now we have uh, 17, um, including myself. You know, I, I think a realistic goal for, for us would be, you know, that, that 25 range. Every, every person we add helps just kind of spread the workload. And then this is the, the chief's office, so. Shane will um, be here every day. Kind of moving in slowly. Running both the station. Dispatch will clarify. And running calls. Just looking forward to, to the opportunity to, to kind of mold the, the future of the department and in, in, in the way I and others have seen it and in, in, in the way the city wants to see it move to. Moving his career and this department forward. <coughs> making every second count. All right, and News H Josh Lamberty joining us now. Josh, um, one of the things he didn't get a chance to dive into in the story was his background. He has quite a bit of experience. Yeah, let's talk about that. So in 2015, uh, Chief Bleeker uh, started his career in LeClaire in his hometown. Uh, he signed up as a volunteer firefighter. Um, that was after he spent a little bit of time at Iowa State and realized, you know, it just wasn't for him. So he came back to his hometown, signed up as a volunteer firefighter, served as a volunteer then until uh, 2018 when he and his family moved to Mason City, Iowa. He signed up as a volunteer or a, as a firefighter there, uh, worked there as a firefighter in Mason City until 2020. His family then moved back to the LeClaire area and he signed up uh, to be a, a volunteer with LeClaire again, but also signed up to be a full-time firefighter with Bettendorf. And he actually just worked his last shift with the Bettendorf Fire Department on Thursday. So he is ready to go uh, and has a lot of experience with a lot of different departments in our area. And I imagine he's learned a lot in that time, but let's acknowledge something. And you know, we all make assumptions. Sure. Uh, and you, you, know, you asked me to picture a fire chief. I don't necessarily picture uh, someone who's 25 years old. No, and I asked him just that. You know, did you ever think at 25 years old you would be the fire chief of your hometown fire department? He said, absolutely not, but it's a privilege for him to be able to do that. And, and he does acknowledge that he is young to be a fire chief. Um, I asked him again, you know, do you think that's going to change the relationships that you have with some of the older volunteers that you have on the force? And, and he said he doesn't believe that it will. He says that because he's been a, a, a consistent face and, and a leader right now, he's the assistant chief until tomorrow when he's the full-time chief, um, he's, he's been a leader in that fire station. And he thinks that some of those, uh, th those relationships will help him even more uh, as the full-time chief. And it is worth noting the um, current volunteer chief, his name is Jim Bradley. He'll actually be staying on in the department. He's actually gonna be moving to a firefighter role, so he, he won't be in the administrative role anymore. But what's, what's fascinating and most exciting for, uh, chief, um, for, for the current chief is that his son is gonna be joining the LeClaire Fire Department as well. So Chief Bradley will be able to work right alongside his son in LeClaire where he's been serving for a long time, since the 90s. And Chief Bleeker, just having that support, I, I imagine is gonna be huge uh, for him and for the department. Oh, absolutely, and, and he has this incredible vision for, for what the department can look like. Uh, he really believes that 
Leclerc will never be a full full-time department. He, he believes that volunteers will always be a part of the Leclerc department and its vision moving forward. Um, but there is the need to have some of those full-time folks in the station during the day. That's when they're seeing the, the most need for coverage because people are out at their day jobs. Um, so part of what the, what the city is doing is having these full-time staff the fire chief and eventually there will be a fire captain or an assistant chief that will also be full-time and those two people will be there during the daytime hours doing their administrative duties but also being that crew that can go out and respond to calls getting the backup from the volunteers if they need it but for those ems calls or maybe those um, calls that maybe don't need a, a full response they'll be there and can respond to those right away and it will cut, cut down on response times as well and chief bleaker is is all for that did you guys talk at all about a vision for, let's say, a few years down the line um, beyond just the staffing needs and, and the response that that, you know, that brings to the city? Yeah, I, I think as the city grows, you know, the, the need will change, right? Uh, you, you heard Chief Bleeker say that, you know, there's a couple hundred homes going up right outside the fire department. Um, so he, he knows that things will change. He knows that... Um, their main needing, they may need to add more of those paid firefighter positions or more of those paid support staff positions down the line. Um, but right now, their focus is on just getting the volunteers in the door to have the numbers to staff the calls that they're getting because they're seeing 400, 500 calls each year, and that number keep go, keep, keeps going up each year. So they really need the bodies first before they can right. think about that. But it is, it is on his radar that you know, they, they may need some more of those paid positions with the rate that LeClaire is growing. All right, very nice. Great story, Josh. Thanks for Thank joining you. us this morning. You bet.